on Team Insanity. Normal uploading schedule every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays for um, reviews and that kind of stuff. Videos like this. So this was a requested video. Now I know some people have been asking, hey Jake, why have you guys been uploading like 11 o'clock at night? Um, yeah, the thing is that it's really, really hard because we wake up really early, go to school, do all kinds of really cool, cool, crazy stuff, I guess, and it doesn't upload like within a few seconds. So, um, that's why we kind of upload late. We're just super, super busy all the time. So sorry about that. But anyways, so this video is going to be for getting into pump, okay? I did a budget baller show. I talked about pump, how you can save money, and I also did a show about our pump guns more accurate than semi guns. Go watch those two if you have any questions. If these are like, if that's one of your questions, if this is more accurate or anything like that, I made a video all about that. Um, but biggest thing that I can tell you right off the bat is don't buy the most expensive gun that you see. Okay? Think of it as you're starting out as a new player. This, that's just the biggest thing that. That's just like the biggest tip that I can give you. Don't go out and buy a CCM T2 or whatever. When you first started out playing paintball, you didn't go buy, you know, a Geo 3 and Eagle LV1 or a Lux or anything like that. You didn't go out and buy the very top of the line gun. You're not, you don't want to go out and buy the top of the line pump gun. Because number one, you don't know if you're going to like it. Um, and number two, if you don't like it, the resale on it, Okay, so that's the biggest thing. Just don't buy the most expensive top line of the gun. You the really, it's not that necessary. The most money you should spend is a Phantom. I actually got mine used, so I got mine for a good price. But yeah, don't buy a you know a top of the line pump. It's just not necessary. You're not gonna need it when you're first starting out. Like I said, you're like a new player. Um, and so that's just the biggest tip. The next thing. This is getting into pump. So say that you already bought your stuff and you already bought your gun. Maybe you bought an Empire Tracer or a Fam or anything like that. Or maybe you're just trying it out for the first time at your field. The biggest, one of the second biggest tips that I can, that I can tell you is don't get discouraged, okay? The thing is, when you go out with a gun like this, like any, um, any type of semi um, marker, you can go out there and just roll your trigger and just destroy everyone, okay? It's not that easy when you're when you're playing pump. You have to think. You're not gonna go out and get 10 kills a game when there's 20 people out there. Okay, it's not gonna happen. You might go out on your first day and get one or two, maybe three people if you're lucky. Your first time playing pump. You're not. Don't have these high expectations that you're gonna be able to go sit in the back and just start sniping and picking everyone off. It's just. It's not. It, it's just unrealistic, really. You're not going to be making mad dashes across the field, grabbing flags and, and killing people and bunkering, bunkering people out of their bunkers. It's just not going to happen. Maybe if they're all new players, it might happen. But, you know, if you're playing, you know, established players, you, it's just it's not going to happen. So don't get discouraged when you don't get as many kills as you normally get. And don't get discouraged if you get destroyed. Okay, when you go out there... You're going to get destroyed. Like I said, it's like being a new player, okay? As a big, that's just the biggest way, starting out as a pump player. You're, you're like a new player. You're like a little baby now. You're not going out, and you don't have the firepower like this. Um, don't, you're going to get destroyed. People are not going to respect you. They're, they don't really care. They're just going to come down the tape line, and they're just going to destroy you every single time. You might trade out with them, that kind of thing. But, you know, that's what happened the first time I played. You get bunkered a lot. Things happen. It's not that cool. So don't, you know, just don't get discouraged. You're going to get destroyed, but that's how you learn. From me watching some of the first pump videos that I've done, you know, they're, they're terrible compared to what they are now. The other thing is, pump play isn't necessarily for everyone. If you're out in the woods, I'm going to say it's a lot more fun than speedball. I've played pump um, and speedball. I mean, yeah, it's fine. It's fun. But it's not as fun as being out in the woods and doing scenario games and that kind of stuff. Because I can go out there and shoot four balls and get one person out and win the whole entire game for the team. It happened. I had a video of it. Um, you don't really get respect at all as a pump player kind of thing. You know, Jacob had a pistol. I had my pump. And my team, you know, we were trying to strategize Tom. Hey, let's go over here. Let's go over there kind of thing. And they were just like, what the fuck are you guys going to do for the team? You know, they're like, you got a pistol and you got a pump and that kind of stuff. 
they had all their semis, they had all these pods and everything in their pod packs. So I said, yeah, all right, go ahead. And so, you know, I'll link, I'll link the, um, I'll link the video. It's a commentary, but we went all the way through the swamp, went all the way up and around, came behind their team, and I only shot like four balls, five balls, if I remember. Took out one guy that almost stepped on me. I, we flanked the crap out of him. Came up and touched the flag and won, won the entire game for the team. Okay? It was so awesome because they just didn't really, you know, they didn't really care about us at the very beginning of the game. And just seeing them come walking up with five pods hold, holding in their hand and their guns are holding, they're like, who grabbed the flag? Who was it? Was that you, man? Was that you? And I'm sitting there with the flag like, bitch, sit the fuck down. That was me. I'm playing a pump. That, that's right. I just won the game for the team. And Jacob was behind me. So, and you really, you don't get, you don't get the satisfactory when you go out and use a semi like that. When you go out and you win a game and only shoot four balls and you, and you win the game for your team, it's, you just get an awesome feeling. It's not when you go and, and win the game with this. This is still winning and having a good time. That, that's kind of, you know, it's cool. But it's just not as fun as going out there, low ammo, getting one kill and not shooting five, six pods like the other guys are, okay? You're saving a crap ton of money. And that's another thing. Like I said, you're like a new player. Back to that subject. This is going to be a huge initial investment. The biggest thing is don't buy, like I said, don't buy the most expensive gun and don't buy very, very, very expensive upgrades, okay? There's no point. Um, biggest thing I would buy would be some type of barrel. Jacob really twerked this on me. Get some type of um, barrel, maybe. That's it. Get a barrel kit. Deadly Winds kit. Um, I recommend that. That's that's the only thing I'd get, really. Upgraded barrel. Some pumps, you don't even need a Phantom shoots tits across the field. You won't need to ever upgrade that barrel. Um, like I said, you're a new player. You don't need a bunch of new stuff. Um, so, it's a big initial investment, but you're not going to be out there shooting you know, two cases or one case a day. You might be, I can go out and make a bag last me two two days, over two days. So really, it's it's a big investment, but in the long run, you're going to save a lot on paint, and it's just so much fun. The other really, the, the thing that I like about pump is you, you can, you can't really blame the gun. Okay, this is, this is the time you can only blame the player. Nine times out of ten, you can't blame this gun, okay? If this gun starts chopping, you have the excuse of, oh, my hopper wasn't feeding too fast, or oh, my eyes aren't working, my detents are bad, blah, 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 and my, my bolt, uh, the, the paint's too brittle, that kind of, no. Pumps, okay? If you're chopping paint, nine times out of ten, it's, it's you, okay? Maybe you have too tight of a bore if you're using barrel kit, check your bore size, but that's the biggest thing. It, you, you cannot just pick one of these up and just expect to go out there and annihilate everyone. That's the other thing. That's why I said, don't get discouraged. You're not going to go out there, run across the field with a gun like this, and just start pumping the crap out of this thing and wipe out everyone. It doesn't happen like that. You can give this to a new player, they're going to struggle. You can give this to a new player, they'll do a lot better. That's the thing. This is much harder, and you feel a lot better. That's the thing. The first months, it's going to suck, but... You're going to feel really, really, really good about yourself when you go out there and you get those kills and you work that much harder to, you know, play. Um, thing, you have to be really, really good at snap shooting. I wasn't the best at snap shooting. I wasn't that quick. It has brought my skills way, way up playing pump because you have to be very, very, very quick. Because if someone is shooting uncapped semi or 12.5 balls a second um, PSP, they're shooting... 12 and a half balls every second at you, okay? You have to be able to pump your gun, pop out, take a shot at them, and come back in without getting hit, okay? So you you can't really come out like this. You can't do anything like this. Wow, the light just fell, stupid lighting. But, you know, you can't really, it's going to get, you have to be very, very um, uh, corrective, I guess you can say. You have to be very, very good. You're going to have to correct yourself with your snap shooting kind of thing. The other thing is, the other point, you're going to be very, very good at snap shooting when you are when you start playing pump. If you're not good at snap shooting, you're going to get destroyed like that in a second. The reason why, again, people are going to be shooting these types of guns 
and they're going to be shooting either uncapped semi down the wire or a 12.5 BPS or maybe even 15 PSP. And they're going to be sitting down there shooting down the line. They're going to be shooting 12 and a half balls a second at you. Okay? You have to figure out, you have to either sit there and wait for them to stop shooting, but in that time that they're shooting at you, um, you have to cock your gun, you have to find a perfect spot, a perfect spot to come out of your bunker where you're not going to eat paint. You have to come out, put a, put a shot on them, and come back in. It has to be like that. The thing is, you're, you can't, it's not like this kind of gun where you can shoot the bunker twice and, and you can come out and put three shot bursts on them or pull the trigger twice and put six, you know, put um, 12.5 in the air. It's, it doesn't work like that, okay? You're only shooting one ball at them. They're shooting 20 times the, the more paint at you. So you can't, you really have to correct your playing style. If you're coming out of the, the um, left side of the bunker with your right hand and you're doing this kind of thing and you're coming out and your hopper's all discombobulated and you're, you're just exposing your whole side of your body, you're going to get wrecked so much quicker because, like I said, they're putting way more paint down at you, so you have to be able to cock your gun, come out. You have to pick a spot where they're not shooting at a per. You have to pick a perfect angle, pop out, shoot one at them, and come back in. You have, and it, it's just like a split second that you can be able to figure out where the where maybe those paint streams are coming. So it's like a split second where you pop out, maybe see them, and just point the barrel right at them and hope that you get them. It's not that easy. As time goes on. It gets way, way easier. So now, now looking back at my old snap shooting compared to now, holy crap, I've gotten so much better. Because now I can be out there with a gun like this any day of the week. If someone snap shoot, if, if I'm getting into a snap shooting battle with them, it's so much easier to just pop out and get back in my bunker. And I can put just as much on the guy as they're putting on me. But now that I've been playing pump, if it's a guy that, that you know hasn't been able to correct himself and he's coming out of... You know, maybe he's a lefty, and he's coming out like this, and I'm shooting at him the same amount that he's shooting at me. Guess who's going to be snapping him out every time? I'm going to win because his form is terrible. Your form has to be spot on when you're shooting pumps because if they're not, you're just going to get destroyed every single day of the week. It's going to happen. It sucks. I'm sorry. It happens. Um, yeah, like I said, you can't really... The, the, the cool thing about this, you can't blame the gun because if you're, if you're chopping paint... That's all you. You're short stroking. You got to get better at pumping. Um, auto cocker pumps. Those those are even ten times harder to shoot. If you guys don't know what auto cockers are, um, you shouldn't be playing paintball. But if you do and you do understand what auto cockers are, they're way 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 harder to shoot than these normal pumps. But uh, I hope that kind of helps you out into getting into pump. It's gonna make you much better of a player. Don't expect to go out there and get massive amounts amounts of kills but in the end as the months goes on winning games for your team you're going to be so satisfied and getting those kills of people that are out there with thousand dollar guns and you're out there with a hundred dollar pump gun and you shoot them out the feeling that you get is just unreal it's awesome you're going to love it and just one of the biggest stories now from back then when i started playing till now um it's just made me such a better player if you look at some of the really early videos when I'm playing with the pump, I'd be, you know, I'd say, okay, Jacob, Nick, let's go. I'm training with you guys. You guys got a semi. I'm just using a pump. Let's go. You guys can plow the way, and I'll go get the flag or something. Now, when people ask me, hey, you're using a pump gun. Do you wanna, do you want us to follow you so we can put down paint for you? And it's just like I take that as an insult most of the time. Like, really? You gonna say that to me? Because you know, I'm mostly, most likely, I'm a better player than you now. I can snap shoot better than you. All, the only thing you're doing is just putting a crap ton of paint more down. And I'll just be like, you're behind me. I'll get up there. I'll be on the front lines. It's a, it's awesome feeling now. And especially going out there and showing up players that don't respect pump players. They're not going to respect you. Most players that don't play pump and have never played pump, they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, ah, that guy's stupid for using a pump gun. Okay, really, they don't understand. They don't know what it's going to be like. They're not going to have any respect for you. They're going to shoot the crap out of you. Don't get discouraged, but in the end, after all those people shoot you over and over and over again, and you go out there a few months later and prove them wrong, and after they can't shoot you over and over and over again, and you're the one out there shooting one or two balls a game, and you're taking out and you're taking out two players with two shots and winning the game, 
it's an awesome feeling. And just watching those people not having to say anything after the game is over to you except hang their head down low and carry all of their pods in their hand. It's awesome feeling. Hope that, guys, I, I hope that really, you know, helps you out with, you know, getting into pump. Uh, we'll do... And we'll do like a video on the cheaper entry level pump guns eventually, like the Tracer versus the Hammer 7, stuff like that. We're getting there, but we have a lot of reviews coming up. Get in more video requests. We still want, we, we take down notes of which ones are really good ideas. Don't worry. We have a big ideal list coming up. It's just taking a while to get your videos in. So, request your videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Any other questions or comments, if you agree or disagree, Put them in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Team Insanity. Hey, Jacob. Jacob. This is what happens when your producer walks away. He's going to watch this later in the video. He touches his barrel all the time. Ooh, that's cold. This is for walking away and leaving me, you dick. There, I was a dick to you. Jacob! He's going to have a surprise. Shh, don't tell him. Hey guys, it's Jake from Team Insanity. <laughs> We're looking for a lost. Planet Eclipse Barrel, please help us. I hope Travis doesn't kill me. <laughs>